there, everybody. It's me, Gotham Gal, and um, trying to get caught up on a couple of things. And uh, I decided to share with you my top ten favorite stamps of all time, at least that I've owned. So, without further ado, um, first one I'm going to show you is a stamp that I bought when I was in high school made by Stampendous, no, Rubber Stampede, and um, this stamp was well loved, but um, <laughs> I haven't used it in probably about 10 years, um, well, maybe 6, 6 or 7 years, and I used it the one time to check it out, and I, I bought gold ink. <laughs> Don't buy gold ink when you don't know you're supposed to clean your stamps <laughs> and then let it sit in a drawer. Um, so it's battered, but it's Garfield. I love Garfield. Uh, still do. So there's the Garfield stamp, which I think is pretty cute. Um, unfortunately, I don't use him <laughs> anymore. He's just sitting in my in my stamp drawer um, or container. Um, the next one I'm going to show you. I bought this a couple years ago when I started, well, like six years ago, <laughs> when I started getting into mixed media art. It's by Illuminata, which is a division of Inka Dinka Doo, or maybe that's the name of it, Illuminata. Made in the USA by Inka Dinka Doo. I love this stamp. I will always love this stamp. I've used it in so many ways. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> And this is my problem for some of my stamps. I um, I bought some really cheap ink pads that didn't really work. So then I went directly to Stays On, Stays On Black, and you have to have a special ink remover cleaner stuff for that, which I did not know about. Um, luckily, I've been able to save like this stamp and a few others, but there are some in my collection that are a little not clean, which kind of freaks me out. Um, I've uh, since switched, and I'll tell you about that. My next favorite is this. It's a Hero Art stamp. I think it's beautiful. I use my Karen Ash watercolor pencils with it. I've also used Twinkling H2O's. Um, I bought this at Archivers right after they opened in the area. And I paid like ten ninety nine for it, which I thought was an awesome deal at the time. And it was. It still is. Out of as much use as I've gotten out of this, it has. Um, it's called Marion's Bouquet. But it's really pretty. Next stamp um, would be this one. I was going to do Christmas cards with this a couple of years ago. And I have, actually. Um, I use uh, I use ink, and then I usually emboss it, and then I paint in the little, uh, little lights with Twinkling H2O's. The reindeer itself is usually colored in. Very cool stamp. I like it. It's a paper salon stamp. I think I got this at Archivers too. Yeah. Um, okay, my next one is actually one that I found. I want to say I found it at Nakatan. Yeah. And it's uh, Stampendous. Yes, this one is Stampendous. And uh, I got it because of a book that I had. And I love this stamp. It's totally adorable. Totally, utterly adorable. So here it is. It's a little elephant. And I've used it a little. Um, I, there's still a couple little projects that I want to do with it. And then my next favorite stamp, you've probably already seen. It is the, uh, it's a hero art stamp. I, I seriously love hero art stamps. They're so functional and easy to use. Uh, the only problem I think you'll come up with if you get a hero art stamp is stop stop buying them because you constantly want to buy new ones. There it is, there's my peacock. Yes, and you can tell stays on. By the way, don't use stays on. Um these other ones on the sheet, actually you can tell. Um you can tell which ones I've used stays on, on and which ones I've used my new favorite ink on. What is my new favorite ink? What is it, you ask? Memento Tuxedo Black 
Oh. Ink. It's a great ink to use, and I would recommend it. Um, it's fade resistant, a dye based ink, so um, you can use Copics really well, which I like. Um, another favorite stamp. This is from Imagineness, and uh, just. You know, it's like the one ninety nine stamps. It's a calendar. You can pick the month and then put in the year. It's a pretty cool stamp. Very functional to have, especially for journaling. I haven't used it for journaling yet, but I keep telling myself I'm going to. <laughs> I just like stamping it and then cutting it out and then losing the pieces. Do you do that? Because that's what I do. Um, <laughs> my next favorite stamp is actually a set, and it's from. Um, Layers of color. The, this is actually, uh, I won these and I love using them. There's a giraffe, there's an elephant, there's a snail, there's a frog on a unicycle, there's a mouse, and there's an ostrich. Very, very cute stuff. Um, they're acrylic and they're very, um, they're very easy to use. They're pretty awesome, and I love them with my memento ink. And finally, my favorite stamp. Oh no, there's two more. Um, this one is my schoolgirl, uh, Annika. She's a wild sprout from the Greening Farm. I cleaned her off right before the last time I used her. <laughs> so she needs another cleaning, of course. And I just uh, started using Ranger's uh, cleaner, the one that smells like bubblegum. Um, I had a co I had one that had a cat on it, scrap not scrappy cat, something else. I got it from Half a Tan. It was on sale and it really, really doesn't work. <laughs> so, <laughs> so if you see one at Pack a Tan and it's got like a cat on it and it's really cheap, don't use it. And finally, this one I've colored out a lot, and then I finally bought the stamp with the coupon. Um, I haven't used it yet, <laughs> but I love the stamp. It's the Hero Art Big Owl. They don't sell it on the website anymore, and that's what it's called, Big Owl. Um, they don't sell it on the website anymore because I checked, and eBay wanted like ten dollars for it before shipping, and I ended up getting it for like five or six at Archivers with a coupon. So I have a little one on that Hero Arts Peacock. Uh, sheet I showed you, but I really like the big one too. So I have a couple of ideas for him, and I think I'm like a year behind, but I think I'm gonna do some excuse me owl Christmas cards this year. So that's about it. Oh, and I wanted to show you this was the first acrylic block I ever bought, and I just wanted to show you how well loved it is. It's uh, close to my heart block. I went to a stamping party and uh, bought it. <laughs> this is why you should not, or if you're going to use stays on, make sure you buy the solvent cleaner <laughs> because otherwise you're going to end up with this and I think it's ugly. But um, I saw somebody the other day who had one and did a video and hers was really well loved too so I don't feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> but I just like to have things kind of clean. Um, the good thing is, is that if this is ever in a drawer, I can find it because I have this ugly, like, little thing there. But, um, and I don't know what stamp that's from. Not really sure. I don't know what it looks like. But, okay, this was just a quick video. Um, I should have more for you later. Thanks for watching. Check out GothamGal.net. Bye!